Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at Theorem 2, which is the converse, right? Looking at the converse of Theorem 2. Remember the, the Theorem 2 that we did in the previous video, which is talking about the equiangular triangles which are similar, right? But this one is the converse of that, which means it's just the opposite of that, right? Um, so we're just going to be doing that um, Theorem two converse right theorem two converse right hope i'm pronouncing it pro correctly anyways uh so what you're given here is you'd be given um a triangle like this one right you'd be given a bigger triangle like this one and a smaller triangle right so this is what you'd be given and then uh say here it's a B and C, and here it's P, Q, and R, right? Excuse me, so you'd be given this, right? And um, you'd be given a ratio that says AB over PQ is equal to AC over PR is equal to BC over QR. R, right so be given this and what you are required to prove is that um, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR right so you have to prove that these two triangles that you see here are similar right um, if you don't know what similarity is please um, check in the description or in the comment section of this video I have uh, written that down anyways um, so to compare these two triangles we need to first construct an imaginary triangle right so I'm just going to construct an imaginary triangle here right and name this point s so by so doing I'm going to say this angle here is equal to this angle here right and then um, this angle here is equal to this one. And then I'm um, just going to say this one here is equal to this one, right? So that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to construct an imaginary triangle and uh, equal these angles, right? And say angle A is equal to angle S, angle B, is equals to angle Q and angle C is equals to angle R. So that's the first thing you're going to do, right? And then uh, what you're going to do is this now. You're going to say um, by construction, right? Um, because we just constructed this triangle, right? By construction, by construction, um, the triangle ABC. Because now you see all these angles, they are the same. The angle of A is equal to angle of S, angle of B is equal to angle of Q, angle C is equal to angle of R, right? Um, we've shown this and this and this. Your reason can just say by construction, right? You can say, just say by construction, right? By construction, um, once you've done this, these three, you can now say the triangle of ABC is similar to the triangle, the imaginary triangle, by the way, the imaginary triangle of SQR, right? This triangle here is similar to this triangle here. Uh, excuse me. So yes, um, the reason for that, you have proven that all the angles are equal, or you have stated that, right? Angle of A is equal to angle of S, angle of B is equal to angle of Q, angle C is equal to angle R, right? Angle, angle, angle is your reason. Right. So once you have done that, once you've done that, let me do this. Once you've done that, um, you go to take a ratio from this similarity, right? Um, by doing this, just take note. I'm gonna take this AB here, right? I'm gonna write AB over this SQ here, over SQ. And if you take a look at the diagram, this is the AB and the sq is this one so it's, it's 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 okay those are sides right so i've taken that 
And then I'm going to take another portion of BC, which is this one here, right? Is equals to BC over, I'm also going to take this one here, QR, QR, right? Equals to, right? So once you've done that, that's why it's important to write uh, your similarities in order, in correct order. And therefore, I'm going to take this A and C and this S and R. Right, so it's going to be AC over SR. Right, so that is what I can identify from this similarities of two triangles is that AB over SQ is equal to BC over QR is equal to AC over SR. Right, but what we know is that this statement here applies. Right, AB over PQ is equal to AC over PR is equal to BC over QR is what we are given, right? It's what we are given. This statement here is exactly this one, right? That's what we know. But now I want you guys to notice something here, right? I want you guys to look at this. I'm just going to highlight with a different color. This AB over SQ here. It's this AB over SQ and this AB over PQ, right? I want us to look at two things. I mean, what is it equal to? It's equals to BC over QR, right? And it's also equals to AC, AC over SR, right? What is similar? I want you guys to look at what is similar. AB over SQ is equals to this here, is equals to this here, of which the very same thing here, is available here right so these two things appear so what we can tell is a B over s Q is equals to BC over QR right and a B over PQ this one now is also equals to BC over QR so once this AB is equal to this ratio, and this this ratio here is equal to this ratio, which they are equal to the same ratio, then it confirms that uh, AB over SQ is equal to AB over PQ, right? I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, so once these two ratios are, are, are equal, it means AB is equal to AB and SQ is equal to PQ. So you can just confirm that and say SQ is equal to PQ, right? And then you can just um, literally do the same thing and say similarly, similarly, um, SR is equal to PR, right? So this SR is equal to PR, right? Because you already said PQ is equal to SQ. So it's similar, right? So if one side is equal to the other side, therefore the other side also is equal to the other side. I hope I'm making sense. Um, then now, from now, obviously you just said this. These S, um, SR is equal to PR, right? And then now we can look at other triangles. Let me just erase this part here. Uh, we still continue, by the way, uh, to prove. Because remember, um, we want to prove the similarities between these two triangles that we given, right? ABC and PQR, right? So to continue this, we'll say um, S in, let's focus on this uh, specific triangles that are required. Remember, we require ABC and PQR, right? But for us to get that, we need to compare this ABC and SQR because that's what we have, right? So we say in triangle PQR, which is this top here, right? So I'm comparing it with this bottom one, right? Uh, and because why am I doing that? Just to be specific with you guys. Why am I comparing this small triangle with this one here? Anyone who can take a guess, it's because in the previous um, steps that we were just doing, we're comparing ABC with this small one here. So if we if we compare ABC with this small one here and 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 say they are similar, 
And then we also prove that this one here is similar to this one at the bottom. Therefore, it will make this B1 similar to this one here. I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. But anyways, let's continue. Um, uh, just to clarify on what, I, what I'm just saying now is if I'm saying triangle ABC is similar to triangle SQR, right? And then I compare also triangle PQR and I confirm that it's also similar to triangle QSR. Therefore, if this AB here, it's, it's, it's similar to this one here, and this one here is similar to this one here, it will, will can conclude now that uh, definitely triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Right? So that's the whole aim here. We're trying to prove that. So now we're just going to look at these small triangles and prove their similarities. Right? Uh, let me erase this quickly. I hope you guys are having fun. Um, this should be fun. Anyways, so we're just going to focus on that, on those triangles in triangle PQR, which is the one at the top, this one here. And... Uh, triangle SQR, which is this one at the bottom here, right? Um, so by looking at those two triangles, right, we can deduce, we can identify that SQ is equal to PQ, right? SQ, this one here, is equal to this one here, right? We've proven that above, so it's proven. And then we can also deduce that SR is equal to PR. This side here is equal to this side here. We have proven that above. So we, we are just talking about size now, right? And another side is this common one, right? Um, QR is equal to QR, right? So you can identify now that um, we've just proven three sides uh, from these two triangles. So it's basically side, 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 right? Uh, the congruency of these. So we're just going to conclude that and say, let me finish here. So we have proven uh, one, two, three. So this one is a common side, right? So therefore, we can uh, confirm that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle S. Q R. Reason is side, 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 right? Side, side, side. But we know that um, triangle S Q R is similar to triangle A B C, right? It's what we um, have proven. Therefore, it will confirm now that because you've just done the congruency, it will confirm that triangle A B C is similar to triangle P, Q, R, right? So once you are reached this step, you are done. Basically, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't, let me know in the comment section below or if maybe you struggle somewhere, let me know also. Um, thank you so much for watching. Off to the next theorem. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.